need rings but just as a starter we're going to change the oil today uh, it's always interesting to see what an original tractor like this uh, what comes out of the oil pan so Rowan's out here helping with me and uh, we'll see what comes out of this paint. we got the we drained the tractor for a little bit and we drove it around the yard and now we're going to drain the oil because the oil's warm um, we got this five gallon bucket because we don't know what's going to come out of it and we got our wrenches ready. Okay. We got a 7 16th, 5 8th, and a 3 8th. Well, you fixed your tractor too. So I'm going to pull this drain plug and we're going to see what comes out of it. Watch out, Rowan. That is some nasty black oil. We'll see how much comes out. So it looks like what was in there was probably condensation. And uh, then we had a big lump of sludge come out. Now all this oil is coming out. Oh, where are all my old shirts went? I had a bunch of old shirts in the garage that I keep out here and I cut up for rags. But either Heather threw them out or I threw them out. Ugh. Also, oil plug it's got a kind of a dip in it and it is just caked full of sludge. I'm gonna have to get a screwdriver or something to clean that out. And then they say, what are you doing with that piece of junk? But honestly, it's not a bad tractor. It's pretty complete and it's just rusty. Like if I get this engine running how I want it and sand it, it's gonna run pretty good and operate pretty good. Right? Yeah. Uh-huh. Alright. fit my tractor. You go fix your tractor. Okay. That's not what I was expecting. I was gonna say either the oil drained out through the crankcase or nope, this thing's full of sludge. Wow. Here comes the oil. because these first oil changes and these old tractors are pretty interesting sometimes. Uh, you never know what's going to come out. Good news is there's a filter. It does look pretty intact. There's a lot of sludge in there. Can you help me? No, you don't need to open that. Wow. That's that's some thick stuff. Okay. Uh, I got some paper. 
paper towels here. I'm just going to use these to scoop it out. The thing that's a little bit scary when you have this much sludge is that while the intent's to get rid of it, and we will, we'll get rid of what we can see. And the thing I don't know is the sludge that I can't see. And what you don't want to happen is you don't want this stuff getting into an oil passage and clogging it up. That stuff is nasty. There's thick and goopy, and then there's just like hard. I'd love to know some more about this tractor and the history on it. Just to know an idea for what it's been through and have some kind of clue on the maintenance that's been done or not done. But uh, I bought it from a couple in Hillsboro, Ohio, and they were uh, collectors of most things International Harvester. And this happened to be one tractor that they weren't too attached to. And they needed some money here around Christmas time and I jumped all over it. So this is what we're working with here. Trying to pick the old gasket out. I'm assuming there's one in there. I really can't tell. I think there is. Let me work on this a little bit. All right, after doing with this, I think I'm just gonna actually take the old oil filter and put it back on uh, just for the, the flush that I'm gonna do with some diesel fuel. So I got the old filter. The interesting thing about the old filter is it's got a tractor supply logo on it. Uh, but it's an old logo. It's not the current logo by any means, so. It's a clean night. L103. And like I said, we're just gonna put this in just so I can flush it. I just wanted to see if you come back over here. Guys, you got, you got a brown, snotty face and wet pants, and you look like a freaking junkyard baby. <laughs> <laughs> You're a good helper. Now, don't, here. Uh, you need a hammer? Yeah. Hang on. Let me put some stuff in this tractor real quick and then we're just going to start it for a second and I'm going to shut it off and drain all this stuff out again. You need that? Yeah. Alright. I really just don't want something to break loose in here. And, uh, these stupid safety cap cans. I will never buy another one of these again. I'll either buy old cans from garage sales or it's the electrical system on here and until I do I just kind of got to jump start it in a rigged up way. I feed uh, six volts to the ignition system and then just out of ease for me I use 12 volts for the starter. Basically just bypassing the solenoid and 
starter switch and all that stuff. I'm just going straight to the starter. Get out of gear, wrench it locked. Watch out, Rowan. Yeah, watch out. Mine has fall off. Let's see what happens with this thing. Don't put that over here. That's for food. We don't want it over here. I might keep this uh, old filter just because I think it's kind of neat. This is what the engine looks like in terms of oil. That almost kind of scares me on the rear end, but we'll save that for another time. I'd like to take this tractor on the uh, 
farm club tractor truck in the spring. Um, here in uh, Lebanon, we have the farm club, which stands for, it's actually the Fort Ancient Machinery, or Fort, An Fort Ancient Restored Machinery Club. And a very active club. We have a pretty good member turnout to all the events. We do a, a, this tractor track, which is a tractor ride in Warren County. Um, it's usually maybe anywhere between 30 and 40 miles, and uh, it's a good time, a lot of good people. And I took my John Deere B last year, and it's 1948 also, and it couldn't it couldn't keep up with all the farm malls because it's just the gearing on it's a lot lower. So we'll see if I get this one running. If it's dependable, I'll take it. This new filter is a Baldwin PT-71, which is what's stamped on it. The drain plug one more time here. Get any remaining diesel oil and water or whatever wants to come out of there out. Whoa! Glad I did it too. Now we're gonna put some oil in this thing. Smoking, but that doesn't mean anything to me yet. We'll get it out and let it run some more. Uh, let it run for a while, see what happens.
that tells me a couple things. Uh, it's getting oil. And yeah, it just needs, needs a little more work. That's all right. It's made in 1948. I'm sure it's been through a lot. better about it now is I know it's got good oil in it. Uh, so that just at least eases the mind a little.
Alright, let's go in and eat. Bye.